This is Dennis Dayton, Indiana Gold Hunter. Well, we figured this, I don't know if it's gonna be the last outing uh, for 2017, but regardless, we got a big outing this weekend. Um, John Lane, my cameraman, he's the guy behind the camera. Now Derek and uh, Hook went up to go get the that little four wheel or whatever. Anyway, we're down here at a little piece of paradise. As you can see in the background, he's already got the porta pot out. Uh, there's where I'm gonna be setting up. I've already got it unhooked from my truck. John, let me let me grab this from you. Thank you, buddy. Welcome. Hey, Mr. Hi, John guys. Lane. There's the guy that takes us where we go to the pit and our pit material. But John is set up right there. He got some good level ground. And they're going to get the four wheeler and they're gonna hook up to his trailer. And have you seen it, Dan? Oh, you, do you no, need I to get unhooked? Seen it yet. Anyway, yeah, we'll take a, a well. Wouldn't you know? I had a quick pause. My alarm clock was going off normally let me know to get up get ready for work so there's i've got the three inch dredge billy's gonna be bill conrad's coming down tomorrow a bunch of them are coming down tomorrow and there's the four inch i'm gonna be running and actually jonathan is getting ready to build me one just like that um a four inch so he'll probably start start on mine in oh a couple months so normally i drove down here and which I have four-wheel drive, which is real easy to get in and out. And I do not. Yeah, but you, I think you still could have made it, but you never know just in case it rains. Oh, he's got a bunch of wood already cut, ready to go. Here's the, then there's good fishing too. They got some nice, uh, nice bluegill and a rock bass out of here, some big rock bass. So where you find all kinds of fossils in those little cone looking things. I don't know what they're called. You know what they're called? No, I don't. Yeah, you got the wood. I did it one time, but yeah, here's here's uh <coughs> fire last time. Excuse me. So anyway, there's the creek. We'll probably be down right at the end of the sandbar. You can see that. There's a log right there or something. Okay, yeah. That's where we'll be down there. We got really good gold there. We can get really good gold right here too. It's just, <laughs> there'll be a lot of people here. So I'm sure some of them will set high bankers up right here and stuff. And this is on the, this is the inside bin we're standing on anyway. So it's really nice. That right there, water gets up to about your waist. That's about as deep as it goes. I guess there's some holes that are a little bit deeper, but right. pretty much, you know, it's so just going to be by the end of the weekend. <clears throat> Well, are talking about rain Sunday or something? No, we'll have one. Oh, yeah, paper. there'll be holes in it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, guys, uh, just kind of showing you um, the start of it. And uh, we get everything settled up, settled in. And I don't know if I'll bring it back on tonight. Or uh, if not, first thing in the morning, we got a bunch of duck eggs. Uh, from Howard the owner of the of the property gave us a bunch of duck eggs. So I'm looking forward to that breakfast and anyway, so pancakes and so or not pancakes. You got a bacon and sausage. bacon and sausage. Yeah, so Maybe until tonight if not in the morning Either way We'll be back Well, here we are I met uh, went to meet Corey and Dave Brown at the Walmart this morning and of course, Corey got had his little Chevy Cobalt. You can get anything at Walmart. Oh yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> he parked his car up there, so we loaded his gear in the back. Dave got his trailer. Larry McKnight rolled in about 1:30 in the morning. He's down there doing some test samples. I'm gonna take that pan and get pan away from him. So we're about ready to go. Gonna eat a little bit of breakfast. Got to get it level. <laughs> Your dredge is in the back of that, isn't it? Yeah, it's in the back. All right. Well, it's good you don't yeah, have. That's what I forgot. Oh well, you ain't using my dredge. <laughs> we got the shift going. I'm not the shaft. What? Not your shaft. Oh. Man, I done figure breakfast has been done. Anyway. Well, I got the start of the video, Jonathan. Yes, Why don't you sir. tell them about your claim and how to get a hold of you and your number again? 
Jonathan Perrett, P A R R E T T. Phone number 765 561 6059. And my page is Hookmeister Prospecting Outdoors, my group page. And Greensburg, Indiana, exit 134 is the Walmart. Yep, so. Yeah, it's a good meeting place. Because trust me, there's if you try to try to put this address in, it'll take you away. Yes. <laughs> so and also my email address is jperet72 at gmail.com. So it's jperet, J P P A R R E T T. Okay. 72 at gmail.com. Okay. Cool. So they can get a hold of you. Man, I'm ready to eat. I am freaking starving. Get there, brother. Get there. I am starving. Already doing some tests. Corey's excited. Already got his pan in the water. Man, this place. Absolutely beautiful, guys. And you talk about some really super, super good gold. You have got to make this trip on this claim. All right, well, I'm gonna start kicking them in the rear end and get them going on this breakfast so we can get our butts in the water. So until then, we'll be back. Well, most of us are already ready. I've got uh, Hook's four inch. He's got his sitting there. We're gonna be dredging, uh, well, right there at the end of the hose. Corey, he's running my three inch. You got uh, Ray actually showed up. Hutchinson. Hey Ray. Yep. You say you got some videos on YouTube also as well, don't you? Yes, I do. What do you? What do they look up? They want to go to YouTube and watch your videos. Uh, Raymond Hutchinson. Raymond H Hutchinson. Yeah, H-U-T-C-H-E-S-O-N. Okay, Raymond Hutchinson on YouTube, guys. You got some good videos. So there's the. Uh, Gold hog 2.0 with clay ball. Hey guys. Going on, oh heck yeah. Setting up? Huh? Look at there. A little top man. Look at down. there. That looks good. Oh, you getting ready to do a clean out, huh? Just a little top man. Heck yeah. We'll see what you got there. Much, yeah. Hey, I got the camera going just in time then. There's Dave Brown. Larry, he's up there. He's not even looking. You got uh, Ben Walker. He's running. Larry, he's taking a smoke break. Dave's in my old spot where he got down to bedrock. He's in a good spot. You'll find some good gold there. Oh, you already got the mat out? Yeah, just a. Uh, oh, you're just checking the header box. Just header box. Checking the header box. Oh, yeah. I said I doubt there's much in it. Yeah, that's just a nugget trap. Yeah. So you're probably not going to have any fine gold in that. Yeah, where I your, knew that. yeah, where your main goal, we're gonna take a look at the box. There's my double D slews. Yeah, he's checking the crash box. Hook's got the stuff ready, so. Huh? 
Oh, he's done. And uh, Raymond just coming up blue, but this is a little sluice that he made. And what's the mat you run all the way through it again? Uh, gold hog bedrock matting. Okay, bedrock matting. With it's a little bit of uh, the gold hog miner's moss. Oh, and yeah, the okay. Bottom. That is really With cool. A down ripple system and then a small section of punch plate. But this would be a solid matting of the uh, bedrock. I like that. I like that little setup you got. That's pretty cool. Really cool, man. Put everything in a five gallon bucket. Already. Carry it and the battery, you're good, man. You're good to go. That's awesome. That I am. All right, well, guys, you got to get to work. So we'll be back. Down to uh, running that four inch, Jonathan's four inch, running that uh, hog matting in it. I'm going to see. I think I've been moving a lot of overburden. We'll find out. Oh, I need to color already. Right there, it's really coming in now. Oh, look at that, guys! Oh, yeah, I see it over there in that left hand corner. I don't think the camera is picking it up. I'm Hang on a second. Yeah, I will. I'm gonna. Let me, uh, let me uh, right there. That's just running the, getting rid of what I call the overburden, and I'm already getting into that, not even down to bedrock yet. Yeah, looking good. Looking really good. Heck yeah. Nice pieces. Yeah. Cool. All right, guys. All right, Derek is doing a clean out. So we're gonna stop what I'm doing over here to see how it looks. Hey. Just doing the top mat. Huh? Oh, I had a really good clean out. Had a lot of good color. I'm gonna get another good run in. I was getting ready to start up until I saw you cleaning out. I'm not doing the top. Huh? I'm not doing the bottom. That's fine. I'm glad you're just doing the top. All right.
Huh? We're supposed to come out here and break around. Good. He's got a problem with the fox. Killed over 50 of his chickens. Yeah. No, 50 small chickens and 25 large. Wow. Yeah, that's bad. And that's how you put a Raptor 2.0 back together. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I know you're chopping at the bit. Yeah. I could have done a clean out first, and then put that back together. Oh wow, that's just out of the miner's moss, it's littered, I washed a bunch of it down. Oh my gosh dude, that is amazing. And that's <laughs> off my 3 inch, the way I got it set up. Oh yeah. With that matting that I run, that's sweet dude. There's a ton of it in there. Right there. Good job Corey, my 3 inch. Start to get into it. Isn't that amazing? Someone does a clean out and everybody gathers. <laughs> it's just to show you some of it. It's starting to come up everywhere. And that's just with 10 minutes of running.
Yeah, I know your hole's not very big, dude. No. Not really. But you're in the right spot, so you definitely could go, Dennis. This is your double D clean out. This is my double D clean out? Yep. This is what you would have lost from the other one. Yep. Hmm. 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 Aren't you glad? Now, guys, let me show you something. Mm -hmm. This is why I make the double D sluice right here. See that gold right there? That was the extra part add-on. The reason why I make the double D sluice to go on a regular sluice about 10 inches is because this is what you would have normally threw back in the creek right here. Some good pieces. Yeah. And boys, if you throw it in, it doesn't grow bigger. Just, just to show you right there. Look at all that. Look at all that. That's why I make that extension. Wow, dude, that's... Now just think, buddy. If you wouldn't have had that on there... Absolutely. Right there. And that's just a quick pan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. So, and that's actually, that's my prototype there. So, if you ever decide you want to double it, you can't have that. Because the other one doesn't actually have the bar in the middle. And, and it has a bar going across, so you can put a flap around it. So, anyway, guys, that's why when you have a regular high banker, you add on the extra. And it mine wise out to uh, 16 inches. And that's what you would have lost. That's what you would have. You weren't going to run that double D sluice today and you decided to run it. Now just think, you would have threw that back in the creek. My arm still hurts from you twisting it. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm getting back in the water. I'm getting back on that dredge over there. I'll be back. All right, we're bringing it back on. Corey's claiming something. He got gold or something. I don't know. Just a little bit. That's off my three inch. Oh my gosh. A little out of the Look miners. at the weight. Yeah. Just the miner's moss. You know what? You're, you're giving me half that gold, right? Since you're running my dredge. <laughs> I, was, I think I got that sucker I tuned in. Well, this man right that. here helped me get it set right because I wasn't good at the king. So that means I get half of it. You go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> now, wait a minute. If he gets half, you get. What are you stuck with? <laughs> what we, the hell? we like you, brother. We really do. <laughs> Thanks, man. Oh, I love, no, my, I love the told you owe him. <laughs> I love the setup on my dredge. Oh man, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that oh yeah. Running. And I just want to steal like a dream. Cool. Good job, man. Good oh, job. I want my three inch back. I oh. want to steal it. What are you talking about? You ain't having another the floor? Derek, you want to run the floor? I want to run the floor. <laughs> no, I, I ain't gonna run. All right, guys, we'll be back. <laughs> well, we're wrapping it up. We're uh there's Dave and, uh, oh yeah, Hook. I guess we're going to get ready to get something to eat. I just got done doing my last clean out. And uh, I think Corey's done for the day. John Lane's still running and Derek's still running. But there's some of the pounds I got there. And let's see if you can see. This was... Ah. Well, I don't know if you can see this or not, but it might not focus. Did a quick pan. There's still a lot of gold down in here. Some of it floating. So, anyway. Not bad for today. Got quite a bit of gold. There's really good gold here. A little piece of paradise. So, going to get my suit off. Hopefully, get it somewhat dry. I know it's going to be cold and wet in the morning. Putting it back on. So, anyway, guys, unless something happens and I bring it back on tonight, we'll see you tomorrow. Well, here we are. It's Sunday. Had breakfast. Already got a run in. Of course, I've got. Getting ready to do a clean out of mine. Corey, he's checking the, I guess, some of the material. See if he's got any gold on it. Jonathan's running the beast. He's got that thing fired up. Dave is way down there.
So anyway, beautiful day already today. Man, it's already nice. Some of them already left, headed back, had quite a drive. But we're staying with it. I can run till about a couple hours before the show starts tonight. I've got pretty much everything else loaded. Anyway. Good. Oh, he was testing the tailing. So, anyway. We'll be back, guys. Alright, guys. This is it. We're finishing wrapping things up. We, we're halfway packed. We still got a little bit to go. But, uh, this is from your... Little little piece of paradise goat claim. Uh, my name's Jonathan Perrett, P A R R E T T, uh, Hookmeister, uh, prospecting outdoors. You can call me Hook and uh, contact me through Jonathan Parrot page on Facebook or from my group page, the Hookmeister Prospecting and Outdoors. Or my phone number is 765-561-6059. And uh, my email is jparett, P-A-R-R-E-T-T, -T, 72, at gmail.com. Cool. And this, you didn't run very long. How long did you actually run this morning when you finally got everything set up? Maybe an hour? A little that, over an hour. Guys, I want you to look at this. That's some nice color. And that's actually some of the smaller stuff you got into compared to what you usually pick out here. Yeah, there's a couple nice pieces in there. This but is there's, all there's chunky. A there's, I yeah, know there's, there's lots little. of that stuff here on this claim. But yep. uh, guys, get a hold of Jonathan, man. This is this is one claim I highly recommend. You don't want to miss out on it. Um, also, I want to remind everybody to um, make sure to tune in to Prospector's Radio, which airs every Sunday which is tonight, this is on Sunday, um, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and our West Coast Wednesday, which is 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And don't forget to rate, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. And don't forget to come out to this claim. you got to come out to this claim. You, I'm telling you. But anyway, yeah. Gotta. That's, that's Corey behind the camera. So <laughs> anyway, um, until our next adventure, which we actually we're, we're talking about, we're going to maybe do like yeah. a polar bear plunge kind of dredge outing or high banking whatever uh first snow first snow so there's no date first yep. snow we get out here we're gonna so guys watch indiana weather if you're in the surrounding tri-state area and it'll be a blast yeah, and if there's a group of you wants to go out four or five people wants to get together give me a call we'll get something set up just to come out for a weekend and yeah. have a good time and do some prospecting. So, yeah, just let me know. Cool. So, anyway, until our next adventure, this is Dennis Dayton, Indiana Gold Hunter. <laughs> well, I'll take trying to get Corey out of here, a little piece of paradise. Horses blocked him in. <laughs> what a way to end the day. Oh, I know. <laughs> Come here, Dennis. Nuh-uh. <laughs> I'm not touching that. Hook it on the end of your zipper. All right, now we can head home. <laughs> this is funny. And this is what the horses do to a hood. They lick it everywhere. Oh yeah. <laughs> you got it. Perfect. You got it, watch. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. <laughs>